meaning peace be into the nation of Israel, who might mighty the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Israelite foreigners, uh, scattered across the four corners of the earth, mainly within America, whom of the Most High, Yahweh's chosen people of the nation of Israel. All right, and without further ado, as always, just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashak, Yahavashai, Baharachak, Wadash, meaning all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten and anointed Son, Yahavashai, uh, Hamashak, Yahavashai, um, a true foundation of divine wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And with that, Mashana, Kabawadim, Lahasakwanim, Shalagadawaraka, meaning double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, the true shepherds, Yash Allah, pushing the sound doctrine and truth. And um, Shalom, honor and salutation to Bayasha Davada, meaning the house of David, representing the elect of Israel, starting with the 144,000 governing body and the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children of Israel. All right, and this is your fellow servant, Malak Rayab, which back at it again with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimon Shai, through the spirit of prophecy, uh, being a testimony of our Lord and Savior, Hamashak Yahweh Shai, uh, dealing with the family of the word prophecy and uh, for the revelation of. The wicked counsel of these devils exposing their true profane of our nature and how, um, you know, they sought out to, um, you know, control the narrative, you know, or the narratives um, for so long um, that their way is the true uh, path of uh, prosperity. You know, um, you know, uh, being conformed to this westernized, um, you know, uh, thought of living and this 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 westernized uh you know, way of of governance, you know, because in, in, like it says in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, um, the rulers of the darkness of this world are, in fact, the rulers of the darkness of this world because their darkness is evil, iniquity, which is symbolic of, of darkness. And that's why the, the scriptures refer to them as refers to them as the children of the night. But nonetheless, um, you know, dealing with the family, the word prophecy he's being afraid exposed that these devils are using these devices to, you know, to to, um, you know, to. Uh, you know, sustain, you know, their, their God complex, um, you know, through the information they, they, um, you know, they actually monitor to be disclosed. All right. You know, uh, so in this case, you know, you, there, there's, there's a few different incidents, you know, that Fred exposes their, their, you know, their agenda, including, um, you know, kill gates of hell and his foundation, you know, being further used to target those who oppose the, uh, the crown royale juice. And to round them up, as, as you know, as I had, you know, brought out several months ago on on my uh, secondary main channel, Ruta David, that just got recently terminated. And you had this, the, the YouTube CEO by the name of Susan uh, just come out and, and uh, you know, about a couple of weeks ago and admit, you know, to to uh, quote unquote classifying um, or making classifications, you know, when it comes to information or quote unquote, un, uh, uh, quote unquote, authoritative content. You see, you know, so we're at that time now, man, when they, they, they're, they're about to, uh, you know, they're, they're about to uh, target those um, whom they deem um, anti, you know, who they're going to, they're, they're, they're going to try to target kind to who they deem, that they deem, uh, you know, quote unquote, anti-establishment. So without further ado, I'm about to bring out some precepts, Lord willing, and uh, play the clip, dealing with the YouTube CEO, further, further putting her foot in her mouth and further exposing their agenda, man, and how, you know, um, you know, we're, we're, we're actually up against the algorithm that they monitor, okay, which all has an origin, which I'm about to bring out in this video. And Lord willing, this is for the edifying exhorting. But I'm going to go ahead and start here in Isaiah 24 and 7. And it reads, the new wine mourneth, okay? It says, the new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry heart do sigh, you know? And that, that, that new wine, all right, is a parable of, of new information, all right? Dealing with the, the intoxication of wine. You, 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 you're, uh, you know, you're engulfed within the effects of that wine. Okay. So parabolically speaking, and, 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 you know, regarding the reference, uh, uh, of this parable to, to, uh, new information, their new information is, um, what they deem to be classified as legitimate information. And that's why we speak, uh, when we speak, uh, when our, when our speech is, uh, you know, is, is, is rid of quote unquote, um, anti-establishment or deemed as anti-establishment is further compromising their their wickedness and exposing their secret dark counsel pursuant to uh isaiah 29 and 13 and psalm chapter 64 verse 2 and they they can no longer muster this uh this contention so what they're doing is they're you know targeting us you know through through, through uh, more uh you know tactful and uh you know deceiving and hypocritical measures man you know
by deeming what we say as anti-establishment when uh, a pioneer, you know, such as Fauci, you know, and others, you know, can can do something, you could say something similar, but their their words will be deemed to, to, to hold more weight because of who they represent. And that's the and that's the establishment. That's the eating my confederacy. Case in point, it was Fauci that said about a year ago that face coverings are ineffective. Now he's saying now he's now he's suggesting uh, double coverings of the face. You see that? You see that hypocrisy? But when we speak, when we say that, uh, our words are not deemed to hold any weight. So we, we our, our content gets scrubbed. You see what these devils are doing? You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, we're not ignorant of these devil devices, man. That new wine is mourning. That new wine is, you know, has mourners. That new wine mourneth, rather. It's causing, the, it's causing those who have been conformed to the system, you know, that, 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 that were, you know, bought into that westernized way of living, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, in that, you know, to 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 uh, abstain from that 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 uh, you know that vibration of folly and mirth, all right, and 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 uh, complacency within the false security that, that that was given, you know, to those you know to those who are conformed to this world to second guess those who are giving out this this new wine, this new information, okay, this new way of thinking, okay, through the technology and their pseudoscience and and, and science. And, and, and so forth, and, and, and various facets of sensual devilish wisdom, uh, pursuing the St. James 3 and 15, you see, in Sirach chapter 19, verse 22, you know, because the cat's out of the bag on who this devil is, and now that he's being further exposed, he, he's, he's, uh, he's making us the prophets of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem and Shai, and offend, uh, uh, offenders of, of a word, like it says in Isaiah 29 and 21, so that new wine mourneth, okay, it's causing those, you know, to 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 uh, to be to 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 uh, you know, to be greatly affected, you know, by this new wine, and that's what's causing a lot of sedition amongst men regarding, uh, you know, uh, contention against wicked, corrupt governments. That's just prophesied in the second edge of the fifteenth chapter. Why? Because uh, modern day Rome, the image of Rome, okay, preceding Revelation thirteen and fifteen in the Book of Daniel, okay, is being is being decimated, all right, by by. Uh, the Holy Spirit of truth, you know, pursuing a Psalm chapter 85, verse 11, and they can no longer, these devils, these rulers of the darkness of this world can no longer muster this, man. So now they're coming at us like never before because they know that they have but a short time. You see, and that's why they, you know, they, 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 they are scrubbing content, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're removing uh, subscribers, doing, doing all kinds of witchcraft, you know, with the content, man. All right? You know, because they, 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 they're in the power seat right now. This is uh, Isaiah 24 and 7. The new wine mourneth, the, the vine languisheth, all the merry-hearted do sigh. The mirth of tabards ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with the song, strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Con, so that these people are drinking, you know, Esau Edom's uh, wine, okay, his new information. That's, that's, that's mourning. That's causing the, 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 the masses to mourn, you know, to, 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 you know, to doubt, you know, this, this, uh, you know, this westernized uh, ideology of, of living and thinking and vice versa, okay, which is causing a lot of people to go out there and riot and, and protest, okay, because they're seeing, the, they're seeing the deception and hypocrisy of this, of this rulership and how there, there is no freedom here, okay, as it, was, as it was once suggested, case in point, there's supposed to be liberty and justice for all, you know, hence the idea of YouTube, okay, you know, but this devil, the 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 the, the Shedemite, which I'm about to go ahead and play the clip shortly, you know, mentions how, uh, you know, facetiously how people from a, you know from uh, um, you know people making their their videos from basements and whatnot are not deemed credible to be speaking. But that goes against the whole idea of YouTube. You see the hypocrisy there. That's just a further example that the, this is the hypocritical nation, man. The congregation of hypocrites and evildoers, like it says in Job 15 and uh, 35, I believe it is. You see. And they're being further exposed as such, man, because they're trying to control the narratives, man, okay, to further sustain their God complex through Edomite supremacy. So it says here, verse 10, the city confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. Con, all right, the spirit of truth is exposed in their lives. Their inner works of darkness, okay, you know, the very vibrations on what established uh, the main headquarters of wickedness, Babylon the Great, okay? And, 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 and so now it's time for them you know, to, you know, to, to come that great flood pursuing to Isaiah the 59th chapter and, right, and, and seek and, and, and uh, you know, and, and, and um, you know, seek those who speak truth. 
Isaiah 24 and 11. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. Gone. You know, so this, 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 uh, uh, you know, this, this uh, earth is being further, uh, you know, consumed, all right, by, by uh, the, the inner works of darkness. You know, like it says in Second Edges 14, 17. You know, how this world would, would, would uh, further, further perish, you know, uh, uh, how this world would weaken um, through age, okay, because of how long these devils have been ruling and, you know, continuing to wax worse and worse in wickedness. I'm going to play this clip here in Lord Wilderness Edifying. That's a lock you. I'm going to reboot it. You know, you got the, the law. So I'm going to rewind this. Recommending our. So we definitely have a concept with information. So we want to be careful about not over recommending. So lucky. Authoritative sources, but if you're in the entertainment area or you're looking how to fix something or how to learn something on an obscure topic, it's really hard to put some judgment about what is the best content that's out there. Tell me how you think about the evolution of the algorithm right now, where it is right now, what are the key things you're prioritizing and trying to fix, and what are the things you're worried about? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, I mean, I think we've come a long way in our algorithm. I mean, ultimately, we want to give information and suggest videos to our users that we think they're going to enjoy and want to see and relate it to their interests. But there's a lot of caveats to that, too. So first of all, as I mentioned, when we deal with information, we want to make sure that the sources that we're recommending are authoritative news, medical, science, etc., um, and we also have created a category of more borderline content where sometimes we'll see people looking at content that is, um, or it will be content that's lower quality and borderline. And so we want to be careful about not over recommending that. So that's, see, you see, she just put a foot in her mouth. Like it says in Psalm chapter 64, verse eight, she just admitted that those whose content is not quote unquote authoritative, um, you know, is, is, is declassified because it can't be controlled. That's why she, she made a comment. You know, she, she made that comment. All right. And she said, uh, she also made a comment just now about quote unquote borderline content of those who were declassified by, by a lack of legitimacy that they deem as such. Okay. Those are the ones that are pushed down further, uh, within the algorithm. And that's why a lot of brothers don't get it. Like, like, for example, like a lot of brothers don't be getting a lot of views and whatnot because of what she just said. You know, her admitting this, this, this sheet of my admitting what they've been doing in the, the, the whole the whole uh, time that we've uh, we've been anticipating this or we, we've expected this. Now she's admitting it because it's, 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 it's time for this devil to be exposed, you know, out of the wazoo like it's like never before because he's losing his grip on this earth. All right. Regarding his 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 means of of of, of uh, this dominion that he's had for so long. And that's through, uh, you know, being a forger of lies, all right? Through the forger of lies, rather, being a, uh, the devil that he is, okay? The deceiver that came to steal, murder, and destroy, you see? And that's why she mentioned borderline content, you see? What she's saying is that our content is, is deemed borderline content. So she's speaking subliminally like a snake devil that she is, you know? You know, because, you know, these, these devils are cowards, man. They're not going to come out and just, blatantly say it, even though they, you know, and they could, you know what I'm saying? But this, this is, this is the nature of the, of the, of, of uh, Esau, man. Pursuing our Psalm 51st, uh, Psalm 55 and 21, when they speak, when they speak with uh, smooth words like butter, but they hide war under their tongues, you know, speaking like they have your, you have, have people's best interests at heart, but they have an ulterior motive that they're hiding, all right, within, within the plain sight, but you, you, you cannot fool the very elect, man, Okay. And that's why, uh, for case in point, when you watch the apostles' live streams, every one of the live streams has uh, uh, mad dislikes and and barely a thousand views. And it's way more than a thousand views, man. You see? Because this is the apostles of Great Millstone, man, the leaders of Yashallah. Like, there ain't no way in hell they got a thousand views every, time, every camp video, man. They have way more views than that. But the reason why they don't and the reason why other, other Akim don't is because of what she just said. So I'm going to get this next precept. In uh, Psalm chapter 64, verse 8. All right, this is Psalm chapter 
64, Salakia. All right, so this is the book of Psalm, chapter 64, verse 8. And it reads, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Okay, because they, they'll flee away because they, 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 they will be able to witness and recognize, um, you know, the wicked, profane, vile nature these, these people possess and represent, man. Okay, a very destructive nature. Okay, um, which they further display through their uh, and exhibit through their speech. Okay, you know, because a, 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 an action is, is influenced by thought and, and the thought is illustrated through speech. So she's she's speaking. She's she's illustrating and, 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 um, and conveying the message of the wicked elite. And that's to control the narratives, man, and to suppress the content uh, that truthers speak, mainly the prophets of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, okay, that speaks the word of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get the next precept, all right, so I got, a, I got, you know, quite a, a, quite a few different precepts that I got here, uh, but I'm going to get the next one, um, let me see what I'm going to, matter of fact, let me go ahead and just play a little bit more of this video, then we're going to, um, end it off with a couple more priests, all right, Go back to this video. That content that stays on the platform, but it's not something that we're going to recommend. And so our, our algorithms have... You see, you see that? You hear what she said? She said that's content that we will not recommend. So she's, she's saying, she's admitting they're purposely suppressing the content they don't want people to see. I'm going to continue. Definitely evolved in terms of handling all these different content types. I'd say the, the plus of that is that our users are able to see higher quality content. Uh, they're also able to, uh, we're able to make sure that they're getting information from sources that are very reliable. But I would say the con of potentially some of these changes, because as you pointed out, every change has some downside, is it may be harder in some cases for channels maybe who are getting started or smaller to be able to be visible when there is a major event or when people are looking at something that is science or, or news related. But you know, I would say that that's a trade-off that we've made because we've realized that it's really, really important. So like we learned this lesson the hard way. So when we had the Las Vegas shooting, you know, unfortunately there were a lot of people who were, you know, uploading content that was not factual that was not correct and it's much easier to just make up content and post it from your your basement than it is to actually go to the site and to be able to report and have high quality journalistic reporting and so that was see, you see that so she's being a devil like that she is being facetious you know trying to downplay and discredit those who quote unquote make content from the basement what well, doesn't does not doesn't that uh uh does not underline the whole purpose of YouTube. It's called YouTube, not Elite Tube. You know, it's not one percent tube, like like my man Kyle uh, Kalinsky says in 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 the, in the video throughout you know throughout his assessment of his of, of her her madness that she was spewing. You see, it's not called Elite Tube. It's called YouTube. Okay, it's supposed to it's supposed to um, represent quote unquote freedom of speech, right? But if further confirms we never had freedom of speech because because these these rights, you know. Um, we're not intended for the nation of Israel to, to, to share in prosperity with the devil. Okay, that's why, you know, you have something called the 13th Amendment. Okay, you know, uh, you know, another slave, uh, uh, there's a modern day slave reform bill. All right, that further justifies modern day slavery. Okay, you know, that's why we're still considered three fifths of a human being within their U.S. Constitution, man. Because there's nothing new under the sun. Okay, when they, when they, during the Emancipation Proclamation, they made us believe we were no, we were no longer in slavery. Okay, by by removing us from physical chains, but the word emancipation just means transfer of ownership. Now we understand that much more further within these last days what kind of what kind of ownership that we're under. Okay, well, we're under more of a systematic ownership, where a lot of people don't know that they're under a systematic ownership, and that's the whole trick of the thing. But now there's the Holy Spirit of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai is for exposing these devils, man. Okay, and they, and they and they they can't take it any longer. So I'm gonna go and play a little bit more of this. Just an example of, of what happens if you don't have that kind of ranking. So sure, we want to enable citizen journalism and other people to, up, to be able to report and other people to be able to uh, share information and new channels. But 
when we're dealing with a sensitive topic, we have to have that information coming from authoritative sources so that the right and accurate information is viewed by our users first. And that's, that's not an easy turn off. I mean, your name is YouTube. The whole mm-hmm. principle is that you, anyone, can have complete free speech and you know, publish whatever they want. Or that was the founding principle. I would imagine that this is a trade-off that did not come lightly. So it's... Yeah, it, it is... It, 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 I lost you on the last second there, broke up a little bit, but you're right. Like we came from YouTube and YouTube, I mean, when YouTube first started, it was much more entertainment. It was much more focused on creating uh, like in- interesting things that you saw, funny videos, music has always. She's being a devil again. She's just, she's being a hypocrite because she just admitted in the beginning of her spewing uh, of her, of her, um, you know, her, her, uh, her spill, you know, on, on, uh, you know, the, this, you know, the purpose of YouTube she admitted that about 77% of people come to YouTube to learn something. So you mean to tell me that was never the case? Uh, that, that wasn't the case when YouTube was, 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 uh, was uh, initially created? You see that? You see, you see how they switch the narrative within their talking points? You know, just like these politicians, man. They're all devils, man. You see what she just did? Now she's claiming that, oh, when, it, when YouTube was first created, it was more of an entertainment-based platform. But you, she just said a short moment ago, that about 77, she said 77% of people come to YouTube to learn something. So which one is it? Now you, you see how the, these devils switch a narrative to, to they switch a narrative when, it, when they switch narratives when it's convenient for them. You see? And the man just cut her. He said, hold on, but isn't, well, doesn't that go against the purpose of YouTube? You, 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 you see that you sitting here downplaying people who quote unquote make uh, content from their quote unquote basement. But that isn't that, does not underline the purpose of YouTube. You see? So, they never intended for you two to be created for that. But see, that goes into this, uh, this next precept here. You know, a, a part of their device that they've used that, that you know, that, that, that's, um, you know, for exposing them, you know, and including the Internet. OK, it was formerly known as uh, ARPANET, which I'm about to go into. All right. I'm going to get uh, Psalm chapter 10, verse 2. It reads, the wicked in his pride don't persecute the poor. Let them be taken in the devices that they have imagined. You see that? So I'm going to get the, uh, uh, you know, so I'm going to get this next precept here. Job 5 and 12, he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform the enterprise. Okay, and, and, and enterprise is another word for, for counsel, you know, meaning lifting up. We look into it and they and they, they, they've been lifted up by exalting themselves as 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 God on earth. Okay, pursuing the second Thessalonians uh, 2 verse 3 to 4, you see, and we, throughout their miracles, including their uh their devices of technology, you know, uh, their, their, their witchcraft through the media and propaganda, all an extension of, of, of the sword of Esau Edom, his blessing, okay, on how he was to obtain the fatness of the land, okay, the resources, all right, uh, the information, okay, within the confinement of their, of their interests, so they can, they can, they can pinpoint and dictate who, who uh, learns what and who, and who conforms to what. And that goes back to the invention of the internet, which I'm about to go ahead and bring out here. Okay, dealing with the uh, the, the invention of the internet, which was a, a military weapon that was used to transport technology to quote unquote areas of interest by uh, uh, DARPA. Okay, which was which was which was considered the the mind of uh, the Pentagon, all right, the main headquarters of the U.S. Uh, of defense. All right, so so this is a. Uh, uh, so it says here, Advanced Research Projects Agency Network, uh, otherwise known as ARPANET, says the precursor to the Internet was jump-started in the early days of computing history in 1969 with the U.S. Defense Department's Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. See that? So jumping down here, says, uh, what is ARPANET development called today? Because ARPA's name was changed to Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, a.k.a. DARPA, in ni- uh, 1971. ARPANET is sometimes referred to as DARPANET, okay? So when a, uh, a DARPA, okay, was, uh, a DARPA is the largest military and science agency um, of, of, the, uh, of, the Western, of the Western powers, all right? Representing the Edomite Confederacy, okay? And it was to, it was to, it was a, um, it was a global uh, communications network 
all right, to transport technology to quote unquote areas of interest, okay, and to and to further justify monitoring, um, you know, the the uh, the activity of their of the of their enemies, all right, who who would uh, who would oppose their uh, their agenda, okay. So now this, these very devices prophesied in uh, Psalm ten and two and Job five and twelve is further backfiring these devils. So now this military weapon called ARPANET. AKA DARPANET that they now call the World Wide Web or the internet, you know, is being further used as a, you know, as a, uh, a global technological encyclopedia of all information that's further exposing their inner works of darkness, man. You see that? You see how cold the Heavenly Father is, man? In COVID, you know, because pursuing a Psalm, the 19th chapter, all right, uh, the internet was prophesied to be created to, 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 uh, uh, to broadcast the, the, the truth of Yahweh by Shem Shai across the four corners to the elect. Okay, to bring back the, the, the ancient remembrance of the Hebrew Israelites to those who are Israelites, according to bloodline, these so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American Indians. These devils know what the, what this what, what these instruments they've created for their own wicked doing and, and, and purposes is being used by the Heavenly Father to push his word out there. You know, and you know, and that's that's not, that, that's why they're they're fearing them and that much more because now they're starting to understand, you know, embrace that they 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 don't have they don't have control like they like they've been perceived to to that they've been thought to believe okay you know by by the god they worship satan okay, and I, that's why in psalm t the second chapter says what uh the lord will laugh in the face of their derision you know so they they created these devices just for the destruction man okay but, you know despite their wicked intention of you know um creating these devices okay so uh, um it reminds me of what jay rockefeller said i'm going to get that here all right, the, the nephew of the late uh, John Rockefeller, in this case, the late the, the nephew of the late um, David Rockefeller, rather, who died at 101 years old back in 2017. So this is on TruthLoveLiberty.com. It says, Jay Rockefeller, as I quote, would it have been better if uh, would it have been better if we had never invented the Internet? Unquote. OK, so it says, according to the great grandson, John D. Rockefeller, nephew of banker. David Rockefeller, former Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Jay Rockefeller, the Internet represents a serious threat to national security. You see, now they're now they're starting to realize, you know, um, how this this military device, once called ARPANET, now called the Internet, is being used against them. So it says it really almost makes you ask the question: Would it have been better if we had never invented the Internet? Rockefeller mused during a confirmation hearing of Gary Locke. Um, you know, Obama's choice for Commerce Secretary. Um, he then cites a dubious figure of three million cyber attacks launched against the Department of Defense every day. And that's why the the, the, the current cyber attack that uh, um, that is that uh, that they're saying that has caused this this, uh, um, you know, this this this, uh, you know, this this gas uh, hindrance, you know, is further um, skyrocketing gas prices and, and even um, restricting people from getting gas now, um, you know, it was 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 blamed on Russia. You know what I'm saying? So they're all they're all it's all a point it's all a point to control the narrative and it was all orchestrated, man. Okay? All right, to to uh, justify uh their destructive nature and and achieving this global hegemony, man, through the satanic new world order agenda. Um Yeah, so it says everybody's attacked, anybody can do it. People say, well, it's China and Russia, but there could be some kid in La uh, Lafayette doing the same thing, blah blah blah. So, you know, you can read the rest of this for yourself. Um but hey, man, synopsis was was provided here. You know, in regards to their fear of this device, one of the many devices they have created for their own wicked doing, and now it's being used against them for truth's sake. So I'm going to go ahead and get uh, the next precept. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get the next precept and uh, go back to Salaki. I don't know what the hell that is. You know, see that? See this? All right, so back to the precepts. So this is, uh, I'm going to get Sirach chapter 37, verse 16. All right. Verse 16, and it reads, Let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. All right. And that's supposed to be that righteous counsel pursuant to Isaiah 46 and 10. All right. That, that, that we're supposed to be governed by way of. All right. To have good success. Like it says in Joshua 1 and 8, the reason why this world does not have good success is because the rulers of the darkness of this world, all right, are pushing their uh, perception of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, which is sensual and devilish, hypocritical, okay, and 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 and, and not abundant, all right, uh, uh, for the sake of uh, uh, 
you know, for the sake of um, uh, the will of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, all right, uh, resulting in uh, the promises he gave those who, who would um, govern, govern themselves through his righteous counsel to receive immortality, everlasting peace, prosperity, okay, the kingdom, within the kingdom of heaven, okay? America has no place in, in, in that uh, uh, prophecy except for destruction because before the kingdom of heaven is established, this place is going to be destroyed. Now we refer to, it's becoming that much more evident as to why that is because the forger of lies, the devil himself, Esau Edom, the man of sin and son of perdition, is destroying the earth through his wicked counsel, okay? Um, so it says, let reason go before every enterprise and counsel before every action. So it's what the prophets of Yahweh Shem and Shai uh, speak, all right, is, is, is substantiated uh, by way of righteous reason of the, of the, the Holy Scriptures, okay? And, and, and that's the light um, that is exposed in their darkness, and that's why they're, um, you know, they're, they're, you know they're, they're attacking our content, man. So I'm going to get um, Sirach chapter 19. All right. The point is in verse 22, but I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to start from verse 19. And it reads, The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, is a doctrine of life. And they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. You see that? So this is the Lord said, The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is a doctrine of life, not the, the, not the knowledge of the commandments of, of, of mankind and, and, and of the land. Like it says in the first Maccabees, the first chapter, in St. Matthew chapter 15, verse 9, as this, this Shedemite, uh CEO of YouTube was, was suggesting, you know, of, 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 of uh, quote unquote, classified uh, 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 people. All right. Or, uh, or uh, people that, that have uh, authoritative content. All right. People that are legitimate, deemed in their eyes. OK, that 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 pushes their agenda. Those are the ones who are who are who are uncompromised, man. Okay. All right, and that's and that's essentially, uh, you know, those those with prestigious positions of power. All right, then the categories that that devil mentioned, okay, uh, scientists and and so forth. You see, they're not worried about them. They're worried about those who who are uh, um, those those who are who are righteous, those who uh, uh, speak righteous words as bold as a lion, tearing down strongholds and stumbling blocks. All right, as commanded by the Lord. Okay. All right. And, and, and that's why our words are threatening to them because our words are not of our own. That's why that's why they fear us and that's why they're demonizing us. Okay? Because they, they oppose the true essence of life with the, which is this, this uh, sound doctrine, like it says in the book of Titus. And their 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 wicked secret counsel is is uh is the opposition of the sound doctrine. Okay? Case in point, they they were they they uh, within the commandments of Yahweh by Shimei Shai, which is the doctrine of life, like I said there in the, in the, in the scripture, you know, including um, you know, uh, you know, including sodomy, for example, we're not supposed to indulge in that because it, it's it's counterproductive with uh, 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 procreating. Where the Lord said, "Be fruitful, multiply." What do they do? Push that agenda through through the alphabet boys, you see, through the alphabet community. You see, the same thing with the women; they weaponize the woman. A woman's purpose is to further assist a man with procreating. Okay, what do they do? Weaponize a woman, make her believe that she doesn't need a man. Well, obviously, you need men to procreate, because we carry we we carry the seed of, of of giving life. You see, they do they do they their their secret counsel is anti Most High, uh, or anti God and anti Messiah. You see, because this is a godless society, and that's why this place is being uh, this place on the brink of destruction, man. Where America is standing on her last legs. Because they oppose, because they have no fear, which is going to mention here, Sirach 19.20. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, is all wisdom, and in all wisdom is the performance of the law and the knowledge of his omnipotency. You see? You know, so the fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, is all wisdom. And within that wisdom is the performance of the law by way of faith and works. They don't have faith in the Lord. That's why it further says in, uh, well, it says in 2 Ezra 15 and 4, the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness, man. The, the unfaithful shall die in their faithlessness, roughly paraphrasing. These devils are not righteous. They don't have faith because faith is a spiritual gift given to the Israelites. All right. The children of the light, the lost so tribes of Israel. OK. And they're trying to. And they're, they're and whom is the poor uh, mentioned in Psalm the, the, the 10th chapter. The same poor they're looking to destroy with lying words. OK. Their narratives of deceit, of false truths. And 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 uh, uh and unauthorized um 
you know, in, in all in this in this case rather on unauthentic uh, fabrication. Okay, so uh, verse twenty one: If a servant say to his master, "I will not do as it pleaseth thee," though afterward he do it, he angereth him that nourisheth him. You see, like it says in uh, what's that? The book of uh, um, is it Proverbs? It speaks about the parable of um, the the potter and the clay. The potter is the Most High, the Creator, okay, of all spirits, and the, and the clay is a creation, okay, including this devil, Esau, Edom, you know. Yeah, so it's, uh, Isaiah twenty nine and uh, what's that? Isaiah twenty nine and uh, sixteen, okay, which speaks about that the parable of of, of the potter and the clay. This devil wants to play the part, and that's blasphemy, man. That's why the Lord is going to destroy him. All right. Verse 22, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Here's the point. The knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom. Neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence. You see? So, so sensual and devilish knowledge is wickedness. Because it's, it's not based off of the foundation of righteousness, which is the secret counsel of Yahweh by Shemir Shai and his righteous will, of his omnipotency. You see? That's why Psalm 10 and 4 says, uh, the Most High is not at all in their thoughts. And it's being further made evident through through their uh, performance of their laws and their policies, okay? That is hypocritical, deceiving, and, and uh, conniving, subtle, uh, 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 you know, and, and overall wicked, okay? You know, grueling, egregious, uh, 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 you know, uh, um, oppressing, afflicting, um, you know, policies and, and uh, moral decrees, all right, and actions they perform, all right, um, through the, the secret counsel of, of, of the wicked, okay, as the ministers of Satan, as a, as a physical counterpart of Satan, okay, that we speak about. And that's why, they, that's why they, they're coming at our necks. But hey, man, the Lord's going to come at their, their necks for coming against, uh, coming against his men. So this is Job chapter 5. All right, this is the book of Job. All right, just bear with me, Baba Kasha. All right, Job chapter 5. All right, jumping back to uh, Job, the fifth chapter. Continuing verse 13, it reads, He taketh the wise in their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried headlong. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope in the noonday as in the night. So that, in other words, they 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 take uh, darkness for light and light for darkness, turning everything upside down, like it says in uh, was that Isaiah 29 16. Okay, verse 15, but he saveth the poor from the sword, from their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. So he's saving us from their from their blessing, his sword, okay? That they utilize through their, their modern day slave patrols, their law enforcement, okay, the military and whatnot, and from their mouth, okay, speaking of, you know, which is the forger of lies, okay, through the word of Yahweh by Shemir Shah, tearing down strongholds and stumbling blocks. And a major stumbling block is that the self proclaimed white man is, is all credible. He's all, he, 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 sh he should be reverenced in every aspect because he is, he is God on earth in his mind, okay. And so, so these 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 lies be exposed. Job five, uh, Job chapter five verse sixteen. So the poor hath hope, and he stop with her mouth. Okay. So the word of the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shah is given the poor. Okay, which is lost to tribes of Israel. Okay, live in these rural neighborhoods predominantly, the ghettos, barrios, any reservations. Hope, like it says in Romans fifteen to four, on uh, uh, what of the word that was written aforetime for our learning. Okay. So it says so the poor hath hope. And iniquity stop with her mouth. Okay? So iniquity stopping iniquity is, is, is ironically uh, uh, um, of the evil that the Lord is rendering upon the evil. Okay? Of the devices that they, they would be taken by um, that they have imagined for you know to overthrow the, the righteous. And now it's being used against them, such as the creation of the internet that's being used to further dis uh, destroy their strongholds and stumbling blocks. Okay? So I'm going to get uh, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 21. All right, Isaiah chapter 29, verse 21, and it reads, uh, That make a man an offender, I'm starting with verse 20, For the terrible one is brought to naught, and the scorner is consumed, and all that watch for iniquity are cut off. And these, these devils are the terrible that watch for iniquity, because they, 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 are, they are the, 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 they are the, the, um, the, the men of sin and sons of perdition, okay, the, the men of iniquity, sin upon sin, okay? Drinking it like 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 a, a beverage, like it says in the book of Job, okay, 
wearing like a garment, like it says in Psalm 73 chapter. Because they are they the Edomites are the epitome of wickedness, man. The self-proclaimed white race. Now they're being exposed like never before. Now they have to, they're gonna pull the plug on the internet very soon, man. So it says verse 21, that make a man an offender for a word, and lay a snare for him that reproveth in the gate. And that's the gate to the nobles, these devils, on the highways and the byways, mainly. It says, and turn aside the, the just for a thing of naught. So we're turning aside the just for a thing of naught. These things, the, 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 this, 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 these, uh, you know, these devices, all right, um, and false narratives of, uh, you know, worldly knowledge, you know, it's being exposed, man. It's, it's, it's being uh, contended with uh, the righteous word of the Lord, all right? Um, so with that, I'm going to go ahead and get Amos chapter 8, verse 11. All right, Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Hey, because the family of the word is here, man. Okay, the, the, you, the CEO of YouTube just came out of her own mouth and admitted, um, you know, that, that they're, they're, uh, they're against uh, words of truth, the word of truth of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, saying in a roundabout way, Amos 8 and 11, Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Okay? So there's a famine of the word coming soon where, um, you know, you know, um, you know, th th there's going to be a cry for wine in the streets, like it says in Isaiah 24 and 11, because that new wine is, is, is mourning. The new wine mourneth, causing those of the world to mourn. Okay? I'll offer this, offer this information that, you know, this, this wicked information they're giving people. All right? You know, conditioning them to believe. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, end this off in the book of Sirach 5 and 7, man, because this is another warning, you know, of repentance to the, to the, the, uh, the elect across the four corners, man, to unconform from this world, because this, cause, cause, uh, Esau Eden's world, his heaven, pursuing the second Peter, the third chapter, is about to be destroyed, okay, within America, Babylon the Great, and other parts of the world, like it says in 2nd Ezra, uh, the end of 2nd Ezra, the 15th chapter. So this is uh, Ecclesiasticus of Sirach 5 and 7. It says, Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Yahushai, come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. So those people who, who are complacent within the security of, um, you, know, the, you know, the westernized ideology of liberty and justice for all, democracy, diplomacy, bureaucracy, and whatnot, you know, trusting in the government, this wicked, corrupt beast machine, all right, of the Edomite Confederacy, you're gonna be in for a rude. You're gonna be in for a rude awakening, man. When they pull the plug on the society, when they when they purposely collapse the global markets and economies and suspend the governments, rendering this a lawless society, all hell's about to break loose out here, man. Like it already is, but now it's gonna it's gonna be on uh, it's gonna be uh, 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 on a, on the utmost scale. Okay, yeah, this place is finished, man. Okay, so unconformed from this world, like it says in Romans twelve and two, and come back to your Lord, repent, come back to your how by Shimei Shai, man. Govern yourselves through his word and make it a lifestyle, man. Like it says in 1 Corinthians 9 and 14, okay? And, 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 and be not taken by, not be, be not, uh, 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 and marvel not at the temptation that comes your way because the Lord warned us of these things to happen, okay? For, you know, for, for um, fighting for righteousness sake. Like it says in, uh, in uh, the book of Ezra somewhere, uh, strive for the truth and the Lord shall fight for thee into death, Okay? The Lord strive for the strive for the, the truth and to death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. Okay, because they're gonna they hey, they're coming at us now, man. Okay, but this this is nothing compared to what's really gonna happen, man. Okay, when they really come for us, man. All right, through their sword, because now they're losing they're losing control of the you know their their witchcraft is wearing off, you know regarding the the, the spirit of bondage in Isaiah the 19th chapter. So now they're gonna revert back to their their old uh, method of persuasion, so to say, and that's their sword, their blessing. Cause they coming, man, through the military, law enforcement, and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Cast people in FEMA camps and whatnot. So it's coming, man. Okay, the hour of temptation is near. And, um, you know, and, 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 it's, and, it's, and it's time to, you know, to, to repent. All right? As we need to be doing daily. Okay? To, to be deemed worthy enough to be spared from the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Terrible judgment these last days. So I have not been said. Call Halayim Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. Barach. Like, what for giving me the spirit to do this video. Which I pray is for the edifying and exhorting to elect who may come across this video. With that, a Bob the Ball, DTA, Kwame Yashallah. And shalom to your left. On to the next one.